Just like you and me and all animals, tarantulas are part of the animal kingdom. So the animal kingdom includes fish and birds and reptiles like snakes and amphibians like frogs and mammals like you and me. Within that animal kingdom, there's also a group of animals called arthropods. And tarantulas belong to the group arthropods. An arthropod is any animal that has an exoskeleton, which means they don't have bones inside their body. Instead, they have a shell outside. And arthropods also have jointed legs, like we have joints where we can bend our arms and legs. Arthropods do too. Here's an example of an arthropod. This is a centipede. And I'm going to blow on her, her lightly, which I usually don't do, but just to see if she will move. Yep, there we go. So you can see a centipede has, its body is covered with a shell or exoskeleton, and these legs are all jointed. It can bend its legs at certain points. So that's an arthropod. And arthropods also include insects, like bees and butterflies. And arthropods also include animals that have eight legs and two body parts, such as, and I'll move this guy out of the way so I can show you my next friend, such as scorpions and these guys that are related to scorpions called whip scorpions because their tail is kind of like a whip. Unfortunately, this old man has lost his tail and it will not grow back, but the tail is kind of like a uh, stiff thread. So this guy has eight legs, but it only uses six of them to walk on. He has very poor eyesight, so he uses his front pair of legs like feelers. And in front of that front pair of legs are pinchers for him to catch and hold on to his food. And you can see there are two main body parts. Another animal that has eight legs and two body parts is, you guessed it, the spider. And the group of arach or, I'm sorry, the group of arthropods that has eight legs and two body parts are called arachnids. So let's put this little arachnid, the whip scorpion or vinegaroon, as he is also known, back. But let me just say the reason he's called a vinegaroon is because to help deter predators, to keep predators from getting him, when he feels scared, he can puff out of like his butt, a, um, uh, something that smells like vinegar. In fact, it is vinegar. It's the same acid that's in vinegar. And he just puffs a little puff of that out and it smells bad. And that kind of makes the predator uh, want to leave him alone. Okay, so we're going to put him aside too. And then let's see another arachnid, which is, of course, our friend's the tarantulas. So here we have a tarantula. And this tarantula is called a Brazilian black and white tarantula. That's its common name. Its scientific name is Nandu colorado velosus. Nandu is the name of the genus that he's in. And a genus is a group of related species, species that are closely related and have things in common like horses and zebras. Now, Colorado Velosus is the species name. But like I said, his common name is Brazilian black and white. When people keep tarantulas and are serious about learning about tarantulas, they use the scientific names, Nando Colorado Velosus, to make sure everybody else knows what they're talking about. Nando species like their dirt dry. So the care involves making sure the dirt stays dry. Now I'm going to show you another tarantula. This tarantula is called an Acanthoscuria theraphosoides. I know that's a mouthful. The genus is Acanthoscuria and the species is theraphosoides. 
Now, I've never heard most of these scientific names being spoken aloud. I've just heard them, um, I mean, I've just seen them in writing. So I'm not 100% sure that I'm saying them correctly, but it's pretty close. So anyhow, this species likes its dirt kind of on the moist side. And if you can see where my hand is, these little white sp things in the dirt, they are called vermiculite, and they help to hold in the moisture. So our friend, the Nandu colorado velosus, likes it dry, and our friend, the Acanthoscuria therophosoides, likes it moist. The problem is, if you'll remember, the common name of this one is Brazilian black and white. Well, you know what? The common name of this one is also Brazilian black and white. So if I have both of these, or if I have one of these species, say I have an Acanthoscuria therophosoides, and I ask someone, how should I care for my Brazilian black and white tarantula? They might think I'm talking about the Nando Colorado Velosus, and they might tell me, keep the soil very dry. Well, if I'm actually talking about the Acanthoscuria therophosoides and I keep the soil dry instead of moist as it needs, I'll have an unhappy tarantula. So people who are serious about keeping tarantulas work very hard to learn all these scientific names so they can make sure they're communicating clearly when they're talking about their tarantulas. So names are important. So here you have the tarantulas, which are part of the group arachnid, anything with uh, exoskeleton jointed legs, eight legs, and two body parts. Discover more at ambler.temple.edu forward slash science of scary.